All right, today we're gonna go ahead and bleed the brake system on this 2021 Polaris XP 1000. Just made a video of how to replace the brake master cylinder. Now we're gonna go ahead and bleed it. First things first, let's add some brake fluid, top it off, right into the reservoir. All right, reservoir is topped off and we'll start off in the furthest one, which will be in the passenger side in the rear so we'll break this open leader valve all right using the eight millimeter i was able to break it loose a little bit and then i got my connection there and i'm gonna just vacuum this out and you can see the liquid flowing here down here and you just want to make sure that you check your reservoir make sure you don't run out of fluid and we're still pretty good perfect and we'll just continue the process till we get all the air bubbles out all right then we'll close it off we suck quite a bit and we'll fill this back up all right, then I'm gonna just dump it into this container, the old container that I was using. This is all the bad fluid. All right, and we'll set ourselves up again. Now we'll do the driver's side. You can also do this the old school way, have someone pump the, the pedal three times using an eight mil socket. Break it loose, let everything bleed out, and then close it back up and then repeat the same process. But what I like about this contraption is that I don't need anybody's help to do this. Look at that. And we just make sure it's nice and topped off over at the front. Doing good. And just make sure you always top this off. Don't wanna run empty. Then you're going to have to start the process all over. That will suck. And then just go back at it. Until we get enough out. And we make sure we get all these air bubbles out. Alright, now we'll repeat the process. But in the passenger front wheel. This one's a bit easier. You don't have all that wheel in the way. For the other ones, I think it would be a lot easier if you just remove the wheel. But... Here we go, same process. Just get all that air system out of there. Fill it back up and repeat the process. All right, now the same thing on the driver's side. Getting everything bled out. Then we'll refill it again. It's a never ending process. And then we'll take out a little bit more. We'll fill it back up and we should be set all right after you have complete the bleeding put the reservoir cap back into place and let's give it a try all right i have it on the lift give it some gas brakes right away sweet try out the four wheel drive and roll thank you for watching please like and subscribe and we'll take it for a spin see how it, it acts
fucking subscribe.